everyone, it's Elaine and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you some fabric mushrooms that I put together and I had posted them in just a couple of groups on Facebook and one of the first comments was about doing a tutorial. Well, I'm not going to exactly do a tutorial, but I'm going to give you enough information to help you do this yourself and I will tell you where you can get the pattern and the actual written directions that I tried to follow. Okay, so anyhow, the first thing that you want to do, in my opinion, is kind of get all of your pieces ready. Now the first thing I did, you'll need two pieces of stalk. Now I used just boring colors, the beige, because that's kind of what I think about a mushroom, is a beigey kind of stalk. But now I did not use this exact um, template. I made mine a little bit bigger because I decided I was not going to hand stitch all of that, that I was going to use a sewing machine. So I made my pattern a little bit bigger that then I could stitch it on the machine. So put your like sides together, do your stitching around it. Then what you want to do is you want to turn it back to the right side. Now what I used was chopsticks. And then all I did was kind of start from the bottom and kind of scooch it in and then pull this down over it and it worked fine. So then I had my stalk. I used some fiber fill to go ahead, use the um, chopstick and pushed it down in there. Now I will say when I went to attach the stem to the cap, I did actually put some more in a few of them. You know, you could tell that they needed some more. This doesn't take a whole lot of fiber fill depending on how many you're gonna make. Um, but you'll need at least a you know a pretty good amount and also I would think you can adjust this to your size mushroom that you want to do as you can see mine are pretty much just fitting in the palm of my hand alrighty um, and I apologize if my video is skipping it does it to me every now and then um, but anyhow so then I said, let me go ahead and do my circles. Alrighty. So the cap of the mushroom is three and a half inches. I happen to have a Sizzix die that is three and a half inches. Let's see, is that zero in in where you can read it? Um, I hope so. And I don't know if this is still available or not I just know that I like these thick dies for cutting fabric um, yeah they're a little cumbersome to have to store because they're so thick but boy does it make your life easier the directions tell you to take something I guess it's like a compass and you can cut out your fabric um, I was going to do so many of them I really liked the idea with the die okay I'm gonna be honest with you so then the next thing you want to do is you want to cut out two two and a half inch circles all right you need two of these and then a two inch cardboard insert and this is what they kind of look like so this is the size circle now these are just some scraps I had they're not exactly round but I put like sides together again and I used two different colors um, let's see if you can see one see I used beige a lot as one side and then some kind of color or whatever um, as the underneath all right so do your two circles together and again I did this on a sewing machine so you circle and I tried to make them as close to the edge as I could I did it as close to the edge as I could that it would not, um, but it would not tear through. Then what it wants you to do is it wants you to cut a square hole in them. So what you do is I just folded it over like this and went snip, snip, okay? And then I was, you're able to then pull it through the center and get your, um, your piece like this. 
and then I took a flat iron and just heated it up and kind of got this flat all right now it does recommend that you might want to use some fray check or something in here I didn't um, I probably should have but I didn't um, that's my stalk so that's the underneath piece then you also need a cardboard piece and that is the two inch insert okay um, and then you're going to do the same thing I just folded it in half and went snip snip and um, you'll see why in a minute so I'm going to go back to the drawing here because I didn't have an extra piece of the big one available so now you're going to take your mushroom cap you're going to just slip knot it or what is that slip sewing where you just do a loose stitch around it that then you can pull it and it'll gather on you at that point in time you want to put in a little bit of the fiber fill and then you want to add in your insert on top of the fiber fill okay now remember too you can always go back and add more fiber if your mushroom cap is not um, you know fat enough for you so now you've got this like this now you're going to take this piece and you're going to add it on top of there that's where you're going to do your loose um, your stitching and you can kind of you can kind of see mine uh, the best at um, stitching <laughs> but um, you can see that's how it's attached then okay and then from there you're going to take your stalk and it's going to be sewn into that hole basically and again you're going to loose stitch it that was probably the worst stitching I did was attaching the stalk to the cap and that's really it in a nutshell okay um, I did like I said make it a little easier for myself by using these dies and not trying to cut out circles any other way um, I did use scraps um, you know trying to get rid of some fabric and I guess that's really it so again I will put the link where I found this little craft um, down below and please you know check it out and you know I would love to see what you come up with making your mushrooms I think some velvet tops would be really pretty um, but again I was trying to use up some scraps and um, yep I do have a plan for these mushrooms so anyhow thanks for coming by I do try to put up a video every Tuesday evening 6 p.m. Eastern Time I'm on Facebook a page a group and of course I'm on there myself I have Instagram Twitter and Pinterest and I do have a small Etsy shop called Larkin Lane Creations so please come by check me out let me hear from you um, I do appreciate you very much coming by and I will catch you down the road thank you much bye